Hello Gigabyte users, welcome back to our channel. If you are experiencing issues with your Gigabyte control center not working as expected, don't worry. You are in the right place. In this video, we will guide you through the steps to troubleshoot and fix common problems with Gigabyte control center. So let's get started. So here are some several solutions. We're gonna look through it. So manually launch Gigabyte Control Center. If your Gigabyte Control Center does not start when you are starting your device, you first try to do a manual start and check whether you are able to start Gigabyte Control Center. Solution number two, update it. Update Gigabyte Control Center. Check whether you have updated the latest version of Control Center from Gigabyte on your device. If you haven't, then that could be the reason why you aren't able to use your Gigabyte Control Center in your device. Check the website of Gigabyte and install latest update on your device. And now see whether Gigabyte Control Center works on your device. Solution number three, run a wire scan. Run a wire scan to check for corrupted or infected files within the Gigabyte Control Center. Remove any problematic files using your antivirus software and reinstall the Gigabyte Control Center. It will surely help. Solution number four. Update your BIOS. You should also update your BIOS when you see that your Gigabyte Control Center is not working properly on your device. You will have to consult the manual provided to you by your motherboard company to update the, your BIOS. Solution number five. GMSG.exe. That's the file. A user suggested that running gmseg exe file from inside device c program files control center this is the location can also help in solving the issue of your gigabyte control center not working properly solution number six disable core isolation many users have suggested that turning off core isolation can also help in fixing the issue of gigabyte control center not working on your device to do that easily, please follow the steps given below. You have to follow the steps. Step number one, type Windows Security in your Windows search bar. Open Windows Security and go to Device Security. For the left side, click on Core Isolation, toggle off Memory Integrity and exit the window. Number seven, uninstall, reinstall Gigabyte. By reinstalling, maybe it can work as an alternate solution. You can try to uninstall the Gigabyte Control Center and then try to reinstall it again after some time has passed. If there's any bug in the system of Gigabyte, then doing this would be able to solve this issue. Solution number eight. Last but not least, after you have tried all the fixes given in the fixes section, you should be able to fix the issue of Gigabyte Control Center not working. If you still aren't able to do that, then please contact Gigabyte support team and they will help you out. So there you go. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech tips and tricks. Thank you for watching.